hi guys welcome back to the channel and uh, today i came up with a scenario which is related to the power bay report builder okay which uh, is very real time scenario which i faced uh, for some time in the sense three four months back okay and there was a client requirement let me summarize that the exact requirement what exactly the client is looking at here okay so let's take i go to a database where i have a table called student underscore mark right so there are uh, student name is there and there are different marks are available okay so here the first question is that they want to see the top 10 marks okay so the top 10 they mark the mark needs so basically what i need to do top 10 star from the student marks right but here it's based on what so you are getting top 10 just arbitrary you are getting it right so but what exactly we need here we need order by marks descending right that's what so base first it will be uh, do a descending order then from that it will take you the top 10 records right so this is the requirement first requirement it's a very simple one the ultimate requirement is something like they want this needs to be displayed on the power report, report, report builder along with the total of the top 20 10 marks along with total marks in the sense not the top 10 it means this one so when i'm not doing any top 10 so whatever the marks i have so that i want to display so something like student underscore marks so when i'm putting it without a top 10 so how much I'm getting the marks, whatever the sum is there, right? That total along with the top 10 total, I want to see in a one report only on the, on the bill of the report. So this is what the requirement, okay? Let's see how we can achieve this. So the first of all thing is, let's take this query because anyway, I need to show up your top 10, right? So I will go to my data source, add a data source here, marks, just give a name. Mark SQL Server build. In this case, my thing is localhost, Windows authentication, and I will select my SQL practice. Test connection done. Then here also test connection done. Okay. So my data source is ready. Now click on the add data source. Okay. I will say student marks something like that based on the mark and i will put my query here okay so select top 10 star from the student mark so i just did the query okay now things are doing good and now let me delete this and uh, let insert a table here insert a table okay and here i will select student name marks exactly now if i run this report it's exactly what you are getting in the, the query so that same thing we are getting over in the power bi report now the thing first thing first i want to show a grand total first for the top 10 here so it's very simple okay so just select this record the where the data is there then that the three dots will be coming up right so right click on this insert a row outside of the group i don't want to show row by row I, I want to show the data outside the group so it will be a grand total so outside of the group below okay then it will be a without if you see here it will be three liners will come in right so it is under the group if you click on this there is no underline is coming here there is no three horizontal line so it is total so here i will select my marks by default it will take some marks so I will say this I'm taking a heading here top 10 total. okay now if I run this I will get my top 10 total here okay but this is the first requirement we got it but here the thing is I need the top 10 total along with the top and the down it will be so the grand total grand total consider all the marks of the student it's not with the top 10 
So here one problem is there is that if you go to your data sets, right, we were already you are restricting the data as top 10. So that I don't want. Okay, because I don't want in the sense I want the top 10 but not restricting the data set level. So I just need to remove this first of all. Because now if I validate this query and now if I run this, I will get all the records. Okay, it's not top 10. Okay, and it will go to the next page as well. And finally, it will give the grand total 3633. Okay, it's not top 10, it's a grand total. But what my requirement is now I have don't have a restriction as a data set filter, but still I want to filter the data as top 10. That time the rescue would be your table filters. Just select slowly your table here, something like this. Once you select your table, like some some marks will come. So that's the, it means that your table got selected. Okay. Then on the properties window, if property window is not coming, you can go to the view window, click on the properties. In the filter tab, there is a filter option is there. Here you can add a filter. Okay. I say marks integer top n then. so in this way what happens is for this particular table i will get a top 10 rather than for the whole data set right now let me run this report now again you are getting your top 10 only but the top 10 total is 1873 now the main tricky part is I want to create a grand total here so which will consider every marks here so how i will do it select this right click on this insert row below okay then this will be your marks only i will say grand total but if you run now your grand total and your top 10 total will be same but this grand total, I want to change it. Change it differently. It will show the all the marks summation. So for that, what I need to do? Select this part. Okay. Once you select it, I click on this. Go to expression. Here it is already sum. It is doing it. Okay. Now we want to change the scope. It will say sum the value, but for overall data set. So for that, I want to say comma this is the trick okay and you need to give the your data set name whatever the data set name you've written in the double quotes okay i want to say student marks double quote that's it student whatever the data set name will be there they need to give it here okay then it's the expression now let's try to run this report now and let's see how the data will be see this is top 10 total and this is my grand total grand total cover up every max so this was the requirement which we will we can solve through this technique okay exactly this thing you need to put your data set name All right thanks for watching guys and please do subscribe to this channel for more interesting real-time scenario like this and uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day